Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another traditional origami. Today we're going to make a traditional origami talking fish. For this origami, you just need one piece of origami paper. I'm using a traditional size of 15 by 15 centimeters. What we're going to do is starting off, we're just going to fold our paper in half diagonally so that we know where our center is. And then uh, with the color side facing down, I'm just going to take the right outer edge and bring it to the center here, holding on to it with my fingers so and smooth out that edge to make a nice triangle. I'll do the same thing on the other side too, holding on to it and then smoothing out the edge. Flip it over for a second, go ahead and fold everything in half, bringing that tip right up to the top, make a good crease, and flip it over. Now we're going to take these little pocket that you see here and open it up and extend it out to create a new triangle here. Now I'm going to start off down at the bottom and make a little point and a crease so that I can get this tip completed. And then on this side, I can take all the way over to this side's tip and try to make a nice smooth crease from that side too. So it extends out to create this big triangle. I'm going to do the same thing on this side too, just folding everything out, turn it around since it's easier to work that way. I like to just get this side completed first and then get this side completed too. So that everything looks something like this. So you've got these two little parts on the side and then these sections here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and fold a little of this up and you can kind of choose where and how much, but we're just making the tail fin of our fish. Let's fold that up, for example, and then flip it over, and we're gonna do the same thing going this way. So you can kind of imagine trying to keep things lined up here and on the sides too, so we can get even little fish tail there. And that's the completed talking fish. Now, this is an action origami, so what we do is by taking hold of both of these fin tails here, if you wiggle them around right, you can see the mouth opening and closing a little bit. Um, kind of move side to side, but it's still an action origami nonetheless. <laughs> So that is how you make the traditional talking fish origami. Uh, thanks again always so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all next time. Bye.